Okay, so we're here at this really, really cool new listing in Bellingham, 2907 Lynn Street in the Columbia neighborhood. Fully renovated, this place is dialed in, really nice. Uh, I love this wood, uh, faux wood garage door here. You can see they put some new beams up there. Love the tongue and groove cedar on the eaves. Let's go check out the house. Okay, so here we're stepping in the front door. Love the ceiling line here. It's got a vault to it, a single pitch vault. So these skylights up here bring in some nice light. Gorgeous kitchen. It's kind of what I would say is like a modern farmhouse. You've got what I think Corian countertops, inset sink. Good, good cabinet space really. Lots of uppers, lots of lowers, new appliances, all tile floors. And I love this brick too, the back of the, the original hearth. So it's got that exposed brick. That's always a nice touch. It's just really cool looking in here. And you got the skylights as well. Really, really cool. Now this is not a huge lot. It's like a 28,000 square foot lot right here in Columbia. So it's a double lot. It's quite wide and it goes deep. So really big lot. And over here real quick, we'll check this out. It's like a carport slash garage. So that garage door, it's not actually an enclosed garage, but it's got these cool bricks that let light in, but still give you some privacy and protection from the elements. They've got their hot tub in here, which is kind of cool, but it's got a generator as well. Really cool. And deck here, deck needs some work, but it's a, it's a good size. And you've got all this fencing all the way around. It's got the split rail fencing in the front as well. And there's the shed, which we can check out at the end. Okay, now there's a whole downstairs. It's four bedrooms total. Two upstairs, two downstairs. Barn door here and closes this off. We've got built-in storage, which is of the era. Down here, an extra bedroom, but this is not the primary bedroom, but it is on the you know main level. Here's a, a door out to the garage, you know, garage. Now we'll head downstairs. Okay, down here. So you've got all these uh, these cinder block walls for the foundation, and I didn't see any cracks. It looks like it's in great shape. Here's the utility room. Really, really spacious. And I mean, this this thing is dialed in. Like I said, tankless hot water heater. You got your furnace down here. Extra space back here. Could be a wine cellar. There's water here. So lots you could do with this space. Big power panel there. Mini closet area, but boom, lower level kitchen with a fireplace. So huge living room here. Well, not huge, but living room here. And, uh, you know, you could tell they've got the, uh, the old uh, curved tongue and groove boards here that they just painted over. And it does have some duct work, which limits the head height and areas down here. But nice kitchen, same countertops as upstairs, older cabinetry, but, you know, really decent spot little apartment size fridge, lots of built-in storage. There's low head height here because of this, but still not too bad. This door doesn't move very easily, but you know, raw cedar there. Decent full bath, not huge, it's a little tight. Another bedroom. This place, I mean, oh, would be such a good rental or for a family. Another bedroom down here. Going to stay nice and cool down here because you're below. I mean, that's that's the ground right there. You're underground. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're back in the living room. Let's go check out the other bedrooms up here. So first the bathroom. It's a good bathroom. It's not huge, but it's a good size. It's comfortable. Main level bedroom. It's got the old orange peel texture, I think, to it. And a decent sized closet, no coverings, but that's kind of popular now for some reason. And then the other bedroom up here. So no like ensuite bathroom, you know, in the bedroom, but a couple different that could be used as the primary. Now let's go check out that shed. Okay, so we're out here in the backyard. That's the living room right through there. So you got a heat pump for AC which you gotta love, because sometimes it does get hot out here now in the summers. 
quick view of the outside. Some raised beds for gardening. More raised beds up here. There's that split rail fence I had mentioned. You do hear a little bit of the road because Squalicum Parkway is right down the hill. Uh, but then on the other side of that is uh, Squalicum Creek Park. So that's kind of neat. I just put some new wood chips down here. It's really nice sized property right here in town. You know, you're in one of the best neighborhoods in town, but with huge property. And you can see the creek down there. Okay, and then the little shed back here. Oh yeah, this could be a great workshop. Um, I think power is ran out here. Yeah, there's power up here. So it could be a great workshop or a chicken coop. There's lots you could do in here. And check this out through this gate. There's these stone steps that somebody went through the trouble of building all the way down to the creek. There's even like, what is that? It's like a chimney or something. So yeah, right there, Squalicum Creek. Could walk down there. I don't know if there's fish, but that's pretty cool. All right, this is 2907 Lynn Street. Thank you for watching.